I was just like, what the hell am I looking like? What am I seeing like right now? This is what you're seeing, Call of Duty or something. That's when you know it was real. Like, okay, cool. These are really like, they're going to fight for their country right now. When I went to um, Lviv, I went to see it first just to get a feel, feel for everything. And uh, the, the facilities are, um, are out of this world. It's like Man City's training ground. They have everything. Mm. They have, like, it was amazing. I was like, I was blown away by it. And obviously I was blown away by the project. And I just thought to myself, you know, I played in England since I was a kid. Um, I just felt as if I wasn't, I wasn't valued as, um, as I should have, as I should be. Mm. So I thought, you know, go somewhere they're going to value my, value me for what I do. So I decided to, to leave my comfort zone again and go, go to um, sign for Lviv because they, like the manager told me how much he wanted me and how much he wanted, um, to just help me develop again and, and go into an even higher level. So I was just like, yeah, I'm all for it. At first I was a bit skeptical again, but then I thought, you know what? Skeptical you know, and not? skeptical for what kind of reasons? Just like, like just leaving, um, moving away from England again. Like as soon as you will come out of your house, you just got to accept the fact that you're in a different country. You don't see like red buses. You know, like it's just, it's a whole new, you have to like get your mind right for all of that again. Yeah. Like, been for a year and uh, and six months and I was I was just used to being back again and then obviously you just have to kind of get tune your mind to tune your mind into okay look you're in a different country you're in a totally different setting and just get you get your mind used to that every, again because you know you're gonna have to be there every day so that was the only part but then I just thought you know what like, at the end of the day this is a, a big opportunity for me to to conquer and um, top divisions throughout the other way if it's not going to if I'm not going to do it the England way, I'll just do it the European way. Yeah. So it was the perfect opportunity. And it was an opportunity for me to also get back playing for Nigeria again. So mm. I was like, I have to do this. Did you consider the safety over there? Because obviously Russian troops were on the border, but no one really thought they were going to invade. Was there any discussions about that at all? Or was that just not part of it? Everything was just normal. And I was just concentrating on football and just yeah. getting ready to play. And we was in Turkey for like the last... Three, three weeks so we wasn't even in Ukraine anyway so we would, really wasn't aware of what was happening we was in our winter break camp so we literally just we was there and we would ask questions but the same nah, um, they don't think they're going to come into the country and then the day we got back we trained on the Wednesday in the evening because they gave us like the morning off and then um, the next day literally that's when they actually came into the country and everyone was just shocked I was just thinking oh my god like there's actually a war I've just signed here. Like, what else? I've just come back from a long-term injury. I've just signed here when things are about to go well. Now there's a war. And then and then you just think of the people that um, got um, hit by that first attack. Like, So then you can't really be upset about football because people's lives are now on the line. It was just a strange feeling. Like, literally nothing I've ever, ever felt before, to be, to be honest. I'd be, they gave us, like, the options. Either go through Romania or go through Poland. But Poland from the Polish border to the Viv is only like an hour and a half. So luckily my teammate had his car and literally as he was driving to the border, we see the Ukraine army driving past us. With like, we saw like five tanks, like something you see in Call of Duty. And that's when I was like, oh, whoa. And like the, I don't know what they call it. it the, I don't know if it's like what they shoot out of. It was too heavy for the soldier. And it was like, he, it was like leaning and it was like aiming us. And then obviously he had to like kind of um, keep hold of it again. And I was just like, what the hell am I looking like? What am I seeing like right now? This is what you've seen, Call of Duty or something. It was like five. And then that's when you know it was real. Like, okay, cool. These are really like, they're going to fight for their country right now. So yeah, after we, we after that, we was approaching the border and um, there was probably about 100,000 cars there. It was so packed. It was so packed. Families started like parking their car on the side and just walking, walking to the border, to the Polish border, and then walking into Poland and just walking in the motorway for hours. It wasn't until I got home and then I saw the, my mom's face, like the look on her face and the relief. My mom, my sister, and like some of my friends who came to see me that day. And then um, when I've gone on the news and then you see how worse it was, it had, it, it had become in literally a day and you was just there like, hours before mm. that's oh man thank god because 
if no one wants to be in that situation or no one, you wouldn't want to wish that upon anyone, really. It's sad because, like, football over there is massive. They have massive clubs like Shakhtar, Donetsk, Dynamo, Kiev, like, Zoria, like, Meta. They have, like, massive clubs, big stadiums, like, 30 to, like, 70,000 capacity. Like, and nice, lovely buildings, shopping centres, everything. And then to see, like, just, like, what it looks like now is it's, it's heartbreaking. It's my teammates, what their what their country is going through, and the people is, is for them. You know, it's heartbreaking as well. Like, I speak to them, I ask them questions and stuff. And yeah, you can just tell like it's not a nice feeling at all. Would you return to play in Ukraine? Yeah, like why not? Yeah, it's a beautiful country. If everything is is sorted out, then yeah, like then one hundred percent, I would go somewhere where um. Yeah, I would. I would 100%. Obviously, if the implicate, like, if everything is 100% normal, then, yeah, of course. Okay, cool. Um, so, have you actually, in terms of speaking to a club, have you got a club that you're speaking to in terms of moving on to? Uh, yeah, yeah, like, some, I spoke, just been back and forth with some, and just waiting on certain decisions and stuff like that. And then, oh, hopefully, something can, can happen. Because I, I don't want to sit at home and just chill. Until June, I don't want to do that. I would play. I just want to play football. 